Hey guys, what is up? Hi, and welcome back to the Blue Elixir. Now, um, so most of you might already know that uh, I wasn't able to do any videos or actually gaming videos for Mode to be more exact uh, through the four uh, next weeks. Now, uh, the first week has almost passed. Now, I'm only going to have to really wait for the next month, and then I will be back with more gameplay. Anyways. Uh, so today I'm doing a tutorial or tutorial on how to create your own server icon something such as this I'll put a little image up in the corner right there so you can see an example of what I mean a little you know icon for your server kind of thingy looking making it look a little bit more like uh, uh, you know uh, design you know it just makes it a little bit more uh, original you know I just as this little little cool like uh, add on to it so anyways to do this which most people don't really know how to yet if you didn't already know since the 1.7 update uh they actually made this uh available or you could they allowed you to do it so really uh the first thing that we're gonna do is open up a program called paint.net now if you do not have this program i recommend you go get it right now uh it is very good it's just as good as Photoshop, like that's just my opinion. But uh, I'll leave a download for it, dot, uh, dot net download for it in the description. So you guys just scroll down, check that little description right there, and uh, you'll see a link for it. And I'll put a little, you know, subtitle there saying uh, download for it, and uh, you'll simply be able to download it. it. Takes like three seconds to install, like literally, it's so good. I mean, the the, the setup, everything, it's so good. I mean, just it's just so awesome. Uh, this program is really good for being free. I mean, plus though it's free too. I meant men didn't mention that but uh, anyways to do this uh, the first thing that we're gonna do as I said before uh, we're gonna open up the program and the next thing we're gonna do is control R now we're gonna resize the image now the first thing you want to do when resizing the image is make sure you have unchecked this box right here maintain aspect radio this is very important that you have unchecked this box or it simply won't really work. It's going to mess up this kind of size thingy. So uh, what we're going to be doing is doing the dimensions 64 times 64. So the width and height are both going to be 64 times 64. And uh, that's about it. Click OK, and it will simply resize it automatically. Now, if we scroll down here again, uh, we're just going to zoom in. And by the way, to zoom in, all you do is hold Control and simply scroll your mouse wheel or simply select the little uh, magnifying glass uh, tool here. And you can either right click or left click to simply... Uh, zoom in and out and that's about it but anyways we're gonna go back to the um uh, gradient tool now this is just an example of what you could do for making this background i'm not saying that you have to do it like this but it's just you know for example some tips now i like to use the gradient tool and using the uh radial kind of effect to it so what i usually do is i grab a darker color uh mixed with a brighter color like for example if i use blue i use a kind of uh, very lightish blue and then i probably uh select the same color uh, but uh, what I do again is simply just make it a little bit darker, pretty much like that. And I just simply use the radial tool and make it look like kind of like this. As you can see, you kind of want to get it to the middle somewhere around. Uh, I'm not sure where the exact middle is in this case, but uh, I think it says down there in the corner. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. Wait, if it's something. Oh, wait, oops, we got the, that thing. There we go. Uh, why is this? In, wait, let me just let me get that. How about that? There we go. Uh, you should see the kind of offset and length and all that in the down corner and the angles and all that. So that should be a little bit helpful. Anyways, so I'm going to try to put it about in the middle, like about there, I could guess. And then I'm going to do, I'm simply going to select the text tool. And you could add some kind of like, this, I guess, uh, letter to it or something. For example, I go back uh, here or down to the aerials. Or uh, I've actually downloaded some fonts. Now, if you would like uh, to have one of these fonts, or that, the font that I'm going to be using, uh, I will leave a uh, download for it at defont.com, and you will be able to download it from there. It is called Minecraftium. Anyways, so, uh, for example, uh, my name on YouTube starts with a B. So, oh, that's a little bit too big. Yes, that is <laughs> a little bit too big. Uh, so, you just might want to kind of find the right size for it. For example, B for here. So, I simply do that, and I select the color black for that, and just, you know, give it a little kind of like that. And so, now we have our little actual image what we're going to be doing is saving it now it's very important that you do this name for it so what, how to save it is simply doing either shift control plus s which is save as so we're going to be saving it as a picture since we don't want to save it because sometimes if you have more layers um it might save it as a pdn file which we do not want which it will not work and we will not really want to do so we're going to go to file up here in the left corner we're going to go down to save as and uh, what we're going to do is uh, go uh, browse, simply browse into our uh, server folder. So if I go to desktop, 
you go down to Minecraft buckets there. So go to your server, simply enter the folder. And what you want to do, you want to save this as server dash icon dot png. Now, as you can see, it's already png down here, so we don't really need to do dot png. But you want to make sure that the name of the actual file is server uh, minus icon. So that's about it. You want you want this name. That is very important. That is specifically this. Consider that if it will not be this, if the name file does not have this name, it will not work. Anyways, so simply save that and you are done. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it helped you out in some way for the people who wanted this the most and stuff like that. And if this did help you out, please leave this video a like. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave, it, please leave it to the comments down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Peace out.